Pastor Mike and uh, Dr. Kara Powell, we are so excited that you are here to lecture in our Theology of Joy grant, and you've come to lecture on community. Yeah. Um, you from, uh, Dr. Kara Powell, you from uh, Fuller Youth Institute yeah. as the director, and Pastor Mike Park, um, you as the pastor of Hope Westside, New York City. We are so delighted. Um, and of course, you know, uh, the, the whole uh, kind of new research you've done, this national research project on um, how a church can grow young. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm really curious, this idea of growing young, what does that mean? What does it mean for a church to grow young? Yeah, yeah. Well, unfortunately, what's happening to most churches in the U.S. today is that they are aging and shrinking. Um, U.S. population, 18 to 29 year olds make up 17% of the U.S. population and they're only 10% of U.S. churchgoers. Not only that, but no major tradition, no major Christian tradition in the U.S. is growing today. Mm -hmm. So most churches are aging and or getting smaller. And so in the midst of these nationwide trends, we at the Fuller Youth Institute received a number of grants, especially from the Lilly Endowment, to study churches that are beating the odds. Mm -hmm. In the midst of the bare spots, we wanted to study the bright spots. Mm -hmm. and so if you're familiar with the word good to great by Jim Collins, that was that, that very much informed our methodology. How can we peer behind the curtain at churches that were doing amazing work with 15 to 29 year olds and understand what it was about them that was so attractive, so magnetic for young people. So in the midst of churches aging and shrinking, we looked at those that were growing young. We looked at 250 churches from all over the country, and the churches were so diverse. Um, over half were from predominantly non-white contexts, which was wonderful. They ranged in sizes. We had churches that were under 100, but we also had churches that were over 10,000. Mm -hmm. um, they ranged in church age. There were churches that were less than five years old, like your church, Mike, and more than 100 years old, like my church. Um, and so, so it, it's just so encouraging to see that in the midst of some of the discouraging news we hear about congregations today, so many of them are beating the odds and diversely beating the odds and growing young.